What is radiant heat and why is it a life safety concern? If you've ever stood in front of a fire to keep yourself warm, then you've experienced radiant heat firsthand. In small doses, it can be comforting and even nice. However, in large doses, such as heat generated by a fire, it can be extremely dangerous and even fatal. Radiant heat is invisible, extremely intense, electromagnetic waves that travel at the speed of light with little resistance from air. When these waves strike an object, they're absorbed and their energy is converted to heat. If the object is combustible material, such as paper, fabric, or wood, a fire will start when the material's ignition temperature is reached. Radiant heat is extremely dangerous to building occupants since it can quickly reach a level that causes unbearable pain, followed rapidly by second degree burns, preventing safe egress. The critical level for unbearable human pain is five kilowatts per square meter, and the auto ignition of wood combustibles is 7.5 to 13 kilowatts per square meter. To show the effects of radiant heat transmission through fire protective glass, here is a test that was conducted at a nationally recognized test facility in Texas. The test shows three monolithic 45-minute fire protective glazing products tested simultaneously. From left to right, we have ceramic glazing, wire glass, and heat reflective specialty tempered. So once the furnace is ignited, we can see conditions begin to deteriorate rapidly due to radiant energy. While these products are all tested to 45 minutes, it's clear that their inability to control radiant energy is becoming a factor. Less than 10 minutes into the test, the mannequin in front of the wire glass chamber ignites due to auto ignition. It's important to note that while these products allow energy to radiate through the opening, they don't fail because fire protective products are not judged on radiant energy transfer, rather whether or not they'll stay in the opening. Nearly 20 minutes into the test, the mannequin in front of the specially tempered heat reflective product finally ignites. So what this test demonstrates is that all three fire protective products lack the ability to control radiant energy, however some perform better than others.